The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. We are rocking and rolling today, baby. We are rocking and rolling. We got everything happening. Uh, first of all, let me make an announcement. On the 22nd of October, Tom Hugard is going to give us a show. He's going to be on my show, and he's going to have some really great technical stuff along with some mental things. On the 23rd, the next day, we're going to have Dr. David Paul, the mathematician, uh, psychologist uh, that also did the webinar in uh, not webinar, the seminar in London. He'll be on on the 23rd. So we got big plans on the 22nd and 23rd. And the second half of the day show will be fun because I'm going to go into some things going back to the Civil War and the Federal Reserve and that kind of stuff. Folks, the first chart I posted here is the uh, chart of the Treasury notes. You'll notice where it says back there on the 4th, 5th, 6th, and 7th of October, I was pointing out that open interest was dropping sharply in Treasury notes, and that was not a good sign. That means that the uh, patrons are leaving the restaurant. There's no more food. Well, folks, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I know today's Thursday, but Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, you never guess what's been dropping in open interest. Take a guess. The first letter starts with an E. The second letter starts with an S. And it's also known as the E-mini. But as we know, things will go up forever, as we usually think they do, and they do. Let's just start off with what happened last night. Last night, in the middle of the night, actually it happened to be uh, pretty close to about 2 a.m., as I recall. Get up here a second, because I happened to be on the air uh, or in the room while it was happening. And we'll see here. Uh, you'll notice this is uh, what's happened over the last three days. You'll notice the big move up there to 128.9. 90 in the British pound, a big ABCD, a three drive to a top pattern. But that's not the important thing, folks. The important thing is if you take a look at the British pound that we've been watching here in this room and also in the newsletter for uh, well over a couple of weeks now, that there was a possibility, and we said a possibility, of course, that there would be a move that would take us up to the 382. And you'll never guess last night what that number was. Yes, boys and girls, it was one. 129.80, and we hit 129.87. We proceeded to drop 200 pips because they realized that even though Mr. Junker, Claude Junker from the EU said, yes, the deal is done, it has to get through Parliament. And believe me, if you think our our thing here is uh, bad, <laughs> you should see that. Also, uh, a congressman died unexpectedly last night, Elijah Cummings from Georgia, uh, only 68 years old. My God, he's 11 years younger than me. I mean, that's pretty young. Anyway, he I don't know why what, what happened to him, but he did pass away rather, rather sad. Also, uh, one other thing that uh, happened last night that I, I think is uh, relatively important is that uh, U.S. dollar that we've been talking about, that it had a really good chance that if it didn't hold that level, that it was going to be in uh, serious trouble. And of course, once we went above that 11080 uh, level, <laughs> everybody's a friend of Hillary, Jay. Um, once we went below that uh, 9784 uh, level, we came down and we went down. We matched these lows down in here. Now the numbers that we hit today. Be sure if you if you uh, this is going to be a real interesting two days here, folks, because of that number we hit in the British pound. That that is that's that's really that's a weekly chart, folks. And remember the weekly chart on the euro. Once we cleared that 11065, that took us up to the 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 uh, a larger uh, ABCD level up on the 110. Um, excuse me, 111 and change. And we've got to continue this on. This just can't stop up in here. It literally has to, you know, continue making a, a pretty good move to the upside. Let's uh, switch our focus focus here to over to the gold market because hold on one second, boys and girls. Oh, dear. Let me get this up. <clears throat> All right. 
Uh, he's been in Congress 53 years. Are you kidding me? He's 53 years he was in Congress. That's almost a full-time job, isn't it, Tucker? Oh, my God. See, these things should be limited to, uh, to, to maybe 50 years instead of 53 years. Wow, that's just that's insane. Okay, let's take a look here at the gold market, folks. Okay, here's this is a four-hour chart in gold. Last night, during all the rocking and rolling, we came down and hit an exact 61% retracement at 14 uh, 86. Uh, there's still a possibility, folks. If you look at this chart really closely, we have that head and shoulders pattern lined up. This is about as nice as you could possibly get. You can see since September the 3rd, we've had nothing but lower highs. Each high has been lower. Uh, the high we had last night, just a little while ago, at 1497, was a little lower. So until we get above 1500, uh, this tells us that we're heading, uh, still heading down to that uh, 1455 level. That's what it could be looking at, but above 1502, 1503, that would tell us that we're probably turning here. And uh, the reason why is you'll notice the, the low that we made yesterday uh, was right at the 78% level again at 1479, just like we hit back on the 11th. So we've hit it two days in a row. So we've got some higher bottoms in here. So this is the this is the ball game in the gold market, folks. Above 1500, actually, yeah, above 1500. You know, we got game to the upside. So uh, this could be interesting. And remember now, we've been going down now for seven weeks. Uh, our low was down on we we topped on September the third. Uh, we made a bottom on uh, October the 1st. So we were down a full month and then we've been going sideways ever since. So this has got a chance here. It really does. This is at the ball game is at 1486. And if we can stay above 1486 today or tomorrow and get above 1500, this is going to tell us that we're moving. You remember yesterday we posted a chart by uh, David White. Um, here at TFNN showing that that silver was looking good and silver has been acting much more bullish than gold. I mean, when gold was crashing last, well, not crashing, it was selling off a bit last night, uh, you know, silver hung in there, didn't even go down on the day. That was another positive sign. So there's a chance here we could have game here in the gold. 1502 to me is the critical level. We clear that. Uh, I think we're going to be uh, heading up to uh, at least 14, 1542, which would be the ABCD of the structure from October 1st up into October the 3rd, okay. down into October the 11th. We matched that double bottom yesterday. That was at 1478, and that would take us up to the 78% level of the whole move from 1565, and that would come in at 1542, and that would be 1542. If you take 1448, that's exactly $60, the harmonic number, two times the harmonic number in gold, and so that would be our target of 1542. Above 1542, get on that gravy train because that thing will take off like a ruptured duck. And I mean, it'll go because uh, we got a possibility here. Uh, this gold, as we showed from the chart from uh, Dennis Gartman yesterday, that it has some really, really good things on a long-term weekly basis where it could really run. But uh, we got to clear 1550 before we get to that level. So let's take a little break here, get back, and we'll talk a little bit about the crude oil market. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, I got a couple of comments about the ruptured duck comment. <laughs> I have to tell you a funny story, folks. This goes back down memory lane a long time ago. 1968, I had just been transferred. 1969, I had just been transferred back to Eli Lilly in Indianapolis from California to work as a product manager for the cephalosporin antibiotics. And my first assignment was I was to be the liaison between um, uh, the, the advertising firm in uh, Los Los Angeles, I mean, in, in New York, and uh, J. Walter Thompson. And so I had to go back to New York. And I was going to be there for three days. And the very first night that I got in on Wednesday, I got in on Wednesday afternoon about three. Uh, we worked till about seven o'clock. And then the AI, the representatives for J. Walter Thompson took me out to dinner. We went to a, a restaurant called La Perigord in Los Angeles, or in New York. And I don't know, you know, Perigord from whatever, but we walked into the restaurant. And it was really a small restaurant, had about seven or eight tables, incredibly expensive. There were only two other couples in there, folks. On the right-hand side was a couple. Um, I think she was the owner of the New York Mets. And on the left-hand side was none other than Jacqueline Onassis and Aristotle Onassis having dinner. And I, I was so shocked that I, I was literally, my breath was taken away. And they had in this room a giant duck press. It was saw, it looked like gold and silver, just incredibly. And of course, being Italian, you know, I never had duck in my whole life. But uh, what happened was, um, I, I, either either Aristotle or uh, Jacqueline had ordered escargot, which was snails, you know, made with garlic and butter. I've never had snails in my life, but when the waiter walked by, it smelled so great. I said, "Wow, I got to try that." And so I had the order of snails, and I liked them so much, I had an extra order of snails. But when they pressed the duck, and this duck was really expensive. Oh, God, it was terribly greasy, and I, I just really pretended like I ate it, and I, I really didn't, And but I had a good time with the escargot. But since that time, I've never liked duck as many times I've been to China. I think I had it one time in Hong Kong, because Sarah and I were with some very dear friends, and she made me try a little piece, which it was a very small piece, but uh, I'm just not a, a duck person, but I always remembered that. 
And when I got back to the hotel uh, that night, it was really late, and I still called home to talk to my mom to tell her that, uh, you know, that I had, had been in the same restaurant with Jackie O, and that was, uh, that was excitement. All right, let's get back to the markets here. Uh, let's take a quick look here at this. Uh, remember the, the gold, folks? I, I just talked about the gold. Now, remember, hey, when I talk about these things, folks, these are not, these are not etched in stone, and these are just my guesses of what I think is going to happen. You know, that's basically, uh, you know, what I'm looking at here. There's nothing uh, nothing etched in stone on any of these things. So uh, keep in mind that that's, uh, that's what's happening. Yes, she was a beautiful woman. There's no question about it. You know what? We have something in common, Jackie O and ourselves. We, we are both born on the same day, July 28th. She was quite a bit older than me, but uh, that's neither here nor there. Okay, uh, I'll tell you what, her life was not any better than mine, I can tell you that. And I lived a whole lot longer. All right, let's take a look here uh, at one other thing we want to watch real closely, and that's this crude oil, folks. We, This crude oil's got a chance today. I, I, this is what we call the last lives of crude oil, if you want to take a look at this. Here's crude on a daily chart. Going back to June, you can see how many times we've hit that 51 level. We hit it back in June, we hit it in August, and we hit it in October, all right? Now, what we've done now is we're forming that 135 pattern. We're trading it around this price right now, just as where we were last Friday, 52.94. And uh, I believe we're going to get down one more time to break 52, possibly, and then maybe turn from that level. But boy, folks. Below 50, below 51, you don't want to have anything to do with that. And the reason why, look at it really closely, and you can see here that from the bottom that we made on October the 3rd, October, excuse me, September 30th, to the high we made on the 10th of um, October, that was an ABCD structure that could not even make a 382 retracement. That has tremendous bearish potential, folks. I mean, that if that thing breaks, I mean, it's going to be really bad. Go go back and look in May. You see the April, uh, late April, early May, how we rallied for two weeks, just a tiny ABCD, almost exactly the same amount. We rallied three dollars a barrel. What have we rallied here from 51 to 54? Three dollars a barrel. Shut the front door and raise the rent. Below 51, you don't have anything to do with crude oil because it'll be heading down to 43 would be my guess. Now, again, from me to God's ears, and she's not listening very much, so pay attention. That's just my assumption of what could happen, but it's not acting that bullish, but it's still got a chance. It's uh, we're on the last chance train here with the uh, with the crude oil as we look at it today. If you have any questions, folks, it's 877-927-6648, and we'll be able to see it. Uh, people in the room are talking about the Jesse Livermore book, Reminiscence of a Stock Operator by Edwin Lefevre. That was a pen name. If you don't have that book, folks, you're doing yourself a great disservice. I've read that book more than any other book. I didn't read the Garlic Gartley book. The the Gartley book I studied that pages 200 to 250 but the the reminiscences book I read 50 times and I'm not joking 50 times well I'm talking 60 years but it it's I read that book I I, I wore out copies of it because I, I I enjoyed it so much I even went to New York when I first went to work for Drexel uh, back in 76, they still had the office there in the Chrysler building on the 35th floor it was his original office with the uh, 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 the chalkboard and all that stuff. It was it was really quite cool. Then later on, of course, they they changed it around. No one could afford to do it. No one had an interest in it other than old traders like myself. Okay, let's uh, see what's going on here with some of these other things. Let me uh, since we're getting close to the open, I wanted to see how much we're we're going to gap up here this morning. Um, the uh, the, uh, hold on just a second, boys and girls. I've got to change an order here because we are getting close to a very, very important spot here in the British pound. And I will give you a reasoning for that for just a second. Hold on just a minute. I want to change an order to make sure I do not get involved with this, and I don't want to. So I just go here and make the little clickerino, and then I'm okay. Had a good day so far. That's the good thing. Um, anyway, we'll be watching. Uh, watch the first uh, 45 minutes of the market uh, since starting now till about uh, 0, 10, 10, 30. It should be some pretty interesting jumping around, people looking to what they're supposed to be watching. So pay attention to that as we, as we usually do. Um, the gold is still uh, acting okay. 
Uh, we, we broke above the uh, 1497, back down to 1491. We're back to 1495 now. I believe we're going to get above that $1,500 level, but whether we do or not, I don't buy breakouts, folks. I'm not a breakout type person, so uh, I, every time I get involved with those things, I really don't do it. I will. I, the, the main thing that I would like to impart upon you right now, and that is the open interest in these stock indices has dropped Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Folks, that hasn't happened in a long time. That's short covering, just like we saw in the notes. I don't know how high this thing's going to go. Maybe go to 30, 50, 30, 60, 30, 80. But when it's over, it's going to be just like the notes in the bonds. And it's going to be not very pretty. That's the way it looks from the cheap seats here in Tucson, Arizona. So sort of pay attention to that. Whether it's going to happen or not, I don't know, but we'll have to uh, wait and see. Okay, let's take a little break. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, we're going to talk about money here. Uh, these three presidents have something in common. As we all know, they were all assassinated. We started out here with good old Benjamin Franklin. Uh, <laughs> Larry, what was this guy's name again? I think his name was Abe Lincoln. Let's get this up here so we can take a quick look at it. This was Abe Lincoln. 
and we'll get it up there. And then the next one, this course, you remember Lincoln was the president uh, during the Civil War. And one of the things that uh, he did was he wanted to bring in the old greenback. Let's get this up here and we'll take a look at it. Just give me a second here. You'll notice here uh, where this one says United States of America. This was a not Federal Reserve, folks. The Federal Reserve was a little different, but he wanted to bring this in as to what's happening. And then, of course, he was uh, assassinated a little bit later. The next one we want to look at was uh, President Garfield. He was in uh, 1881. We'll get this up here so you can take a quick look at it here. And then you'll be able to see Garfield was uh, going here. And this is some of the things that uh, what you're going to hear next is uh, this is the words of Mr. Garfield. And uh, we will bring this up so you can take it. This is, uh, yeah, don't tread on me. That's right, Mr. Z. Uh, you'll see this is uh, whoever controls the volume of money in our country is absolute master of industry and all commerce, which was true. And uh, the next thing he said, he'll, the rest of this comment, uh, this was part of the of the webinar, uh, the PowerPoint presentation that I saw when I was in London. But I wanted to go through it because it's really interesting. I was reminded about something this morning when they were talking about Brexit. When you realize that the entire system is very very easily controlled one way or another by a few powerful men at the top. And uh, we'll take a look at the rest of this because I think it's important to see where we are. You realize there, nothing new has ever changed in these markets. You will not have to be told in periods of inflation and depression originate. This was Garfield. And of course, Garfield was, uh, um, he was taken care of on July the, uh, he, he lost his uh, presidency on July the 22nd. And, uh, Yes, Gator, I think you're right. Uh, you're absolutely correct. <laughs> anyway, that was uh, Garfield. And then, of course, we had uh, Mr. Kennedy. We want to get up to the founders of the chief architects of the Federal Reserve. I want to get this into your so you'll be able to see that, you know, you're looking at J.P. Morgan and uh, uh uh, John D. Rockefeller and Jacob Schiff and the two Warburg brothers and stuff like that. And these are just some of the things. And then uh, remember the uh, the um, hold on just a second. I want to get this get this. So this is important, folks, because I'm going to try to explain to you, you know, where I came from with all this stuff here. But this is the uh, thing from uh, from night from uh, 1913. Uh, this is uh, from Woodrow Wilson. We have to become one of the worst ruled, one of the most completely controlled and dominate governments in the civilized world. No longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction and voter majority, but a government by the opinion and duress of a small group of dominant men. 1913, the new freedom. And guess what 1913 was, folks? That was, you'll never guess, that was the beginning of the Federal Reserve. Jekyll's Island. And let's just go here. And this is why it all is important. Let me show you why this is important. This was how I made my first fortune. Let's just get this up here. If you'll notice here, this is where it says Federal Reserve Note. Okay. That's not the way it was back in the old days. Let me show you what it looks like with the, uh, with the way it really does. I'm going to show you the difference between these bills so you'll be able to understand where all this stuff comes from. This is how I was explained how to make money back in 1965. If you'll take a look here, this is a a $2 bill with Jefferson's picture on it. You notice right there it says United States note right over his head. It says United States note, okay? Now, the next one you want to see is the one from the $5 bill. Let's get this one up here so we can see it. Hold on one second. I'm just trying to walk you through the process of how we did all this. And you'll see here. There's a Federal Reserve note, correct? All right, now let's go back to this one right here. And now, now this is where the real mystery comes in, because this is what Mr. Kennedy wanted to do. Mr. Kennedy was ready to bring this bill out, which was a United States note. You know Federal Reserve on here. Now look at the bottom, folks. See where it says series. C. Douglas Dillon, Secretary of the Treasury, 1963. 
Shut the front door. We all know what happened in 1963, don't we, folks? Huh? Shut the front door. Anyway, let's. Uh, that's just what I'm saying. That's how I got involved with this here. Hold it. My beepers are going crazy right now, so I've got to check and see what's going on. I, you know, folks, I don't know anything about this, but you know everything. You know, <laughs> it, it's just really difficult. Just give me a second here to see where we are here. Ah, here's our crude oil getting down there, boys and girls. Be 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 prepared. Watch the crude oil, folks, at uh, this 50, uh, uh, 72, 40 level somewhere in that ballpark. It's going to be uh, it's going to be interesting if it can do it. But we'll uh, pay attention to it. It's going to be quite interesting, I would guess. So, no matter what. Oh, we're getting movement in gold now. We're getting gold back to fourteen ninety eight. This gold's looking good, boys and girls. I think it's got a chance. Let's keep an eye on it. And uh, oh boy, look at this. Guy. I like this crude oil. Just a tiny bit lower in the crude. Please, 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 please. Okay, let's move over to the uh, get back to the markets. So the reason why I brought that up is someone brought me a, an old memory of the old days back when I was doing that silver thing. And one of my friends from a customer from Drexel. Let's, uh, this is one I'm going to show you now, folks. Give me a second here to get this up because it's, I've got to draw some lines on it so you'll be able to see it. I really think that this is a spot here where these bonds might have a chance. Let's just get this up here so we can take a look at it here and take a look at it right here. You'll be able to see it. Uh, um, there you see, there's a little three drive pattern right there, right at the 786. It was about four pips away. We've had a pretty good rally from this level. But remember, this thing has been coming down. Remember way back in September when that open interest was dropping up there at 167? Remember, that's what's happening in the stock market right now, boys and girls. That's a that's not a that's not a good time. The people are leaving the restaurant. That's all I can tell you. That was described to me by the guy that taught me about open interest, which was John Hill. And uh, anyway, that's neither here nor there. You know, I don't know. Anybody have any questions, for heaven's sakes? You know, this is a Thursday, and I'm wore out. I've been up all night looking at these markets, and... Uh pretty much done for the day, but unfortunately, I'm going to have to stay with it a little bit longer here to see uh, if it holds right now, and then we'll, we'll find out from this level. Okay, we might be looking at an area here where we explode to the upside in stocks, which is certainly possible because open interest, even though that it, uh, hold on one second, even though that it uh, uh, it goes down. It could stay that way for four or five, six days, or even four or five, six weeks as open interest drops. We don't know the answer to that. So uh, remind yourself that that's uh, that could happen. So pay it, pay pay attention to that, folks. Uh, it, it does mean something because it's the number of players that are in the market, and that's uh, that's what you really need to uh, that's what you really need to do as you as you watch through some of these things that we're we're going through. Boy, thank goodness we got another break. I'm going to try to cover some commodity stuff here when we come back here and see how I've lost a chart. Oh, here it is. One second here. That's the bond chart. And uh, we'll move on here to the next one here. And I'll talk a little bit about negative interest rates, but frankly, I know very little about it. But uh, anyway, we'll take a break here. 877-927-6648. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. 
If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Will the S&P 500 continue to climb? For bold trades on U.S. large cap stocks in either direction, trade SPXL, SPUU, or SPXS. Directions Daily S&P 500 Bull and Bear Leveraged ETFs. Direction Leveraged ETFs. An investor should carefully consider a fund's investment objective, risks, charges, and expenses before investing. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a fund's prospectus and summary prospectus, call 866-476-7523 or visit directioninvestments.com. A fund's prospectus and summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. The Bull Bear Trading Hour with Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Next. Okay, folks, I posted a chart of the euro yesterday uh, of that important level of the 110 because that was that old high last month. And, of course, we went through that like melted butter. We got up to 110.50, I believe, and um, that was an expansion number, of course. We're now trading a tad below it. But um, that's why you want to pay attention to those old highs because there's stops there. And if you get through those stops and there's not much action, then, you know, you're safe. But if you go through those levels and there's a lot of action, you got to be very careful, so pay attention to that. We've been asked to take a look here at a long-term chart here in the natural gas, which is a contract that we really like. It's had one heck of a move off the bottom. We moved about 20 points, which is good. But uh, as you can see here, uh, back here when we were in the middle of uh, uh, the end of the year last year in December, we were trading just uh, almost at five dollars. Uh, Mr. Z had been in this since uh, 220, I think 255 or something like that. And, of course, we were seeing a big drop in open interest at that time. And then the market, you know, gave up quite a bit in just uh, in one month. You can see we went from 450, you know, down to three. That's 150 points. That's a huge amount. But uh, just a small rally back here will take us back to the 3.5 level. That's what our goal is. Uh, on a longer term basis, but B, you know, we're going to be trading in and out of that three or four times, I would believe. That's what I would be thinking uh, at that particular point. Uh, we got a caller from uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Roy, are you there? I'm here, Larry. How are you doing today? I'm good, my friend. What can I do for you? I was just wondering uh, what do you think about Bitcoin when it's going to get going again? Dropped probably about 45 percent from the high this uh, past year. <clears throat> it's got it's got a lot of support around eight thousand, Roy. But um, you know, I I know so little about that. I don't, I watch the you know I watch the price action of the chart because it trades so beautifully. But uh, it has had a tendency to run the same way as gold is running. If we can get gold above this fifteen oh five level, then I think that's going to get a kick in the butt to uh, old uh, Bitcoin. But right now, I I just don't see. Oh my! Last time I I okay. saw it. Uh, oh, someone's asking a question. What if uh, Bitcoin falls below a thousand. It falls below. Hey, you don't have to go below. If it goes below three thousand, Mr. Z, it's going to be in big trouble. <laughs> so uh, the first, the first is at seventy five hundred level, Roy. You got to hold that seventy five hundred. Where's it trading last? I haven't had a chance to check it this last uh, twenty four hours. Last I saw, it was around eight thousand, eighty one hundred, I believe. Do you know where it is this morning? I, I, I think I saw eighty twenty three or something like that. 
Okay, it's still in that same ballpark. As long as we stay above 7,700, Roy, it's got a pretty good chance uh, to rally. But right. uh, below that 7,400, okay. uh, you know, I think the cryptocurrencies, the, the blockchain idea is good, but the cryptocurrencies might be in a little bit of a trouble, would be my guess. All right. All right, good enough. Thanks, Larry. I appreciate it. Hey, hey, thanks for calling in, Roy. I really appreciate right. it. Uh, okay, you bet. Sure. You have a good one. Yep. Uh huh. And I love Fort Worth, Texas. I've been there several times, and I really enjoy it very, very much. So, let's see what we're going here. We got a nice rally going here in the stock market again. We're getting up near these highs at 305, 307, 308, whatever it's going to be. It'll be uh, pretty interesting, no matter what. And then we'll we'll see what uh, goes on uh, from that level here. We got the gold got up to uh, made a new high at 1498, backed off about three dollars. Not doing too much there. Uh, keep an eye on this crude oil, folks, at 52.40. That's the area we want to be watching that crude oil. 52.40 is the key level, and I think that would be the one where we want to be uh, watching uh, very, very closely for sure. And then if we are on a, on a timing basis, uh, the next uh, 15 or 20 minutes should be a very key level here uh, in the stock market. Uh, if the timing device that we look at uh, seems to work okay, but we'll have to do one thing at a time here, as we're seeing here. We could make a new high up above uh, 07, 08, of course, because the market is so emotional, which is what you really like to see. That's uh, that's the the real beauty of these things. When you go, they all go together, and that's what makes them a lot of fun. Okay, uh, please, uh, uh, what do you want, uh, Mr. Z? Is that the Australian dollar, my friend? Ah, uh, dissect the old Australian dollar. Yep, we can do that, Mr. Z. Let me get the old uh, Australian dollar up here. We've been bullish at for quite some time, so it should be still going up. Let's take a quick look at it as we look, look, it, look it up here. Just one second here, and we'll be watching it here very closely here. Very good. Ah, that's what we want to see. Yeah. Oh, we've had a nice run. This is good. Yeah. Hold on a second here. We've had a, let's just do the day. Oh, we're making a three drive to a top pattern, guys. Boy, oh boy. Pay attention here. This is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting here. Hold on. Um, if you like a three drive to a top pattern, pattern, boys and girls, this is, uh, this is one you want to take a look at. There it is right there. You're, uh, you're about right at the 786, I believe. Yeah, well, not quite, but there's your three drive. I mean, that's a, that's mother God and country. If you like a three drive to a top pattern, that'd be the one to take a look at. That would be, uh, it's a quite interesting one for sure. So uh, whatever that means, <laughs> maybe nothing, maybe something, I don't know, but it's going to be interesting no matter what. So keep a close eye on it. That'll be uh, something to watch. <laughs> Well, we'll see. But anyway, that, remember the daily on that? That was a real easy one. Hold on a second. We'll bring this up so we can take a look at that. That was a that was a real easy bottom that we had in the in the Australian dollar. In fact, Mr. Z helped put that out, and we'll be able to see here. We had that really beautiful bottom down there at 66, and here we are, uh, 200 handles higher, uh, right up at the 78% level, and a three drive to a top pattern. Boy, I don't know. Someone maybe ought to get their old sell button out on that one. That looks like it's going to have a little difficulty getting above 68.70. So your risk here is only about 40 pips. Boy, that's a that's a uh, that's a three drive. No matter how you look at it on that hourly chart. And but remember, they fail a lot. That's the whole key. When these things fail. They fail a lot, and that's the whole key. We're making almost new highs now of a run here in the S&P at uh, at uh, 13. Or excuse me, 306. Um, the old high we had was a. Uh, 3025, I believe, way back on September 13th when we had the full moon. And now we've got all the things happening in the world that make everything copacetic and easy and wonderful. And that's the way it's going. So we'll we'll see how that uh, see how that runs out here uh, in the next uh, few minutes as we go through looking at some of these charts. But they're having a heck of a run this morning. And that's the, the real uh, real beauty of this stuff. So we'll be watching it closely. Be a big it'll be going to be a long day. No matter what, folks, there's going to be a lot of volatility up and down. So just get ready and make sure you use stops when you're trading these markets because they go to areas where you don't think they're going to go. And that's where it gets really interesting for sure. 
There's no question about that. Remember, folks, there's going to be a really special shows on the 22nd and 23rd of October here. Tom Hugard on the 22nd of October. Dr. David Paul from Johannesburg will be our guest uh, on the 23rd. He talks about psychology and mathematics of the market, and I think you'll really like that because that was a thing that turned Tom's uh, trading around uh, a great deal. So we'll it's going to be interesting to see how that works out also. So we'll pay attention to that. Well, I just made it. There we go. 13307. We need to get it up to 3015 in that S&P. That's where we'd like to see that uh, nice little expansion come in there at the 1.618 level. Uh, that would be a really good one to take a uh, quick look at. We've got a lot, of, a lot of emotionalism moving in this morning, and that's what we that's what we really like to see. So, okay. What other any questions? Oh, we got the break coming up, and then we got the final uh, show. And then tomorrow is Happy Friday, and we'll see what's going on. But we're going to have a lot of activity today, folks. So uh, just be prepared for it because it's going to be a, a wild and woolly one, no question about it. There'll be uh, be a lot of things for everybody before it's over today. That's my two cents worth. And believe me, that's all you have to pay for it is two cents. This is how we try to kill time. <laughs> I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I've been asked to post my uh, artificial intelligence uh, wild guess uh, program. 
based on neural network, you'll notice that we're supposed to top somewhere between now and the next 10 minutes. Uh, of course, it doesn't always work, but if it does, and it, remember folks, the last three quarters of the day, it doesn't work as well as it does the first three quarters of the day because you've gone over 232 two-minute bars. And so the probability of success towards the end of the day is less than it is at the beginning of the day. And that's what you really want to be looking at anyway, is that part of the day. That's the real key to uh, paying attention to what we're watching watching here so uh, that's what I would be watching if I were you and I am um, that's all I can tell you that's uh, basically what we're keeping an eye on we'll have to wait and see if that's going to be the case but uh, we're trading at third or 306 and a half highs been 307 and change I believe so we should stop somewhere between 307 and 311 312 315 somewhere in that ballpark but uh, we'll be watching it closely no matter what but uh, remember it is a uh, it is a test program well I've been testing it a long time but it has pretty good success rates sometimes but if it doesn't work you know, if you're if you're in it and it if it hasn't topped by 10 after or 15 after 10 o'clock uh, at 10 15, it's not working. You know, that's that's basically uh, the bottom line. And that's that's what you have to pay, uh, you know, very, very close attention to. That's uh, the real key. We need to get gold above 1502, folks. That's the key level in gold, 1502. The rest of the stuff is just cannon fodder of the opening range in the stock market. Everybody's in there, you know, uh, doing their things back and forth. So uh, pay attention to that. That's a, a key thing to uh, to be watching. There's nothing uh, nothing exciting about it. But you've got to be able to decide how much you're going to risk on some of these things. And that's the whole key. Above 13, 30, 30.15 in the S&P, um, you know, that the old high was 30. 25 we could make maybe we could even make that today with some emotionalism we're only we're only 18 handles away and we've, we we came 25 handles from last night so that's not a big uh, that's not a big stretch so anyway keep your powder dry keep your stops working and be sure that you uh, come in tomorrow 877-927-6648 mm -hmm.